I spent 33 years, nine months and 18 days <laughs> in the Army Medical Command. <laughs> It took me a while to see a therapist to realize that I need help and assistance mentally uh, uh, with you know transitioning as well as with my issues with PTSD uh, and traumatic brain injury. Just like how this Dwyer project should have been built, uh, uh, made up back in you know back in World War One, World War Two, you know it's the same thing like veterans care. It should have been better way back then, and we should be having the best care. Just because things went sideways after I came home, but if the proper resources were there when we came home, we wouldn't be in this position to begin with. <laughs> you know, like, like we wouldn't have turned to drugs, we wouldn't have turned to alcoholism, homelessness wouldn't have came into play. Because when I came home in 2008 from my deployment from Kosovo, it was, we love you, here's a bumper sticker, did you see the commercial, here's a little American flag, no I'm not giving you a job and you cannot date my daughter. I think we're all increasing in our awareness and that's a good thing. I think that the VA is increasing in awareness, but I think the American uh, public and society as a whole is increasing in awareness and that is an awareness of the fact that um, suicide is not just a veteran issue, it is a national and international issue.